The average size of the liver is pretty much in a 70 uh, kilograms individual with somebody like this on from side to side and from front to back pretty something like this. It's, it's the biggest solid organ in the body and we have to take all of this out whether you're getting a deceased donor organ or a living donor organ. And the, it is not like kidneys or lungs where it has two separate lobes. So we, it, it is an anatomical distinction between the right and the left side. So if we decide we're going to take the right side, we kind of come across like this. So we divide those major arterial and venous structures and then cut across the liver and take that half out, then put it in the recipient and then it grows. For liver donors, we don't need a lot of matching. It's just blood group compatibility. So if you're blood group compatible, that's all you need for to be a donor. Uh, anybody between the ages of 18 to 60 can be a donor. We take half of uh, their liver out and put that half of the liver in the intended recipient. Now that remaining half in that donor grows to almost the full size within six weeks. And the same thing happens in the recipient. So the operation happens pretty much simultaneously. We start with the donor, we e decide based on uh, pre-operative imaging if you're going to take the right side or the left side, uh, whichever is, you know, safer for the donor. So we divide their main structures like the artery, the vein and the bile duct and then take that half of the liver out. Then we finish this operation, close the donor. Now once we take this half of the liver out from the donor, our uh, colleagues have already started that operation next door. They take the entire liver out from the recipient and then we place this half and connect it to their major, you know, artery, bile duct, vein, and, and that's really it. That's how this is done. The donor stays in the hospital for about three to five days and they usually walk out of the hospital with minimal symptoms. We have not had any mortality uh, and the risks of this operation are for just like any other general surgical procedure, so some wound related problems, wound infection, hernias or problems from anesthesia.